series um passing by 33 with dean hayes and i want to take you through a few things hi dean how you doing hope all is well on your end i'm feeling a little sick the last couple days I, I don't know if i ate something or i'm coming down with something or what but um, i'm gonna muster through this just uh 15 20 minutes of shooting the shit showing you a few things um, as you can see right here, what I'm already working on is I'm printing up moon photographs. So I have a bunch of moon photos that are on my computer. I download them at free will and I'm going to suggest to you all, anybody coming to my channel to do this, it's going to help you in a big way. Um, I usually do portions of this, uh, about the moon and going into the moon throughout my series but not usually at the beginning of a series but with you guys I think this is going to be fine um, I'll start addressing Danny as well over you here the, the printer already printing this photo of this moon and what I do is I grab moon, and you can grab these moon photographs from anywhere you don't they don't have to be your own um, but I'm also going to um, suggest to you to get your own and do your own videos and photos of the moon and uh, I'm going to just explain a few things real quick and why it's so important for you to do this. Um, even though it's photographs and video, your eyes will capture the same thing. You won't need the, you won't even need the telescope. By the time you're done, you won't need the telescope. Once you start looking at it all and you know where everything is, then you can just look with your eyes and look up at the moon and that's the way it was supposed to be. And this goes for anyone that's watching. There's no uh secrets about it the, the 7.8 billion zombie slaves that's us we hide this from ourselves because it's really not hidden it's, it's all been there all along we've all refused it so one of the ways that you get to see things better and more easily and more clearly and they become a reality is you have to look for yourself otherwise what i'm going to be showing you over the next whatever we get for a series 200 part series Everything that I'm going to show you is only going to be entertainment unless you go look for yourselves. So you have to start somewhere. So what I'm going to say to start to do is to go ahead and print yourself up moon photographs, reverse telescopes and standard telescope photographs first and video as well that you can keep on your computer um, or just go uh, look at on your computer. Um, and have them there. You don't even have to save them to them. But if you go taking your own videos, then we'll get into that in a minute. But what I mostly uh, want to point out and, and some very important things that sometimes in my series, the video either gets deleted, which may happen with this video. Who knows? Have a bunch of moon photos around you all the time. Have one by your computer. Have another one in your car spinning around on your dash. And the reason why you want them to be able to be spinning by putting a hole in the center is because everything's about angles and distances of perspective. So when you're living your regular everyday lives, you're going to be looking at this moon spinning around wherever you want to spin it. Like I said, on the dashboard of your car, because every little different angle and distance of perspective is going to change the images. So you'll see 
a couple thousand images you might catch at the particular angle that we're at now for example let's see i have to go way down low a good example see how it's all glared out it's all glared out because of my angle so if i want to come down lower that's a photograph that one but this one down here is on the computer so when i come down lower and change my angle and distance of perspective then i can see everything very clearly Okay, and then what I'm going to say is that when this, when these moon photos are spinning around you all the time and you're looking at them, you will just start seeing different images because you're changing angles and distances of perspective. Now, some people I've seen over the years will have a moon poster with every stage of the moon in it, and I'm looking at them, and it's and I, I've been online with people that have had those posters. And it's fucking amazing that they don't see it. Even when I'm pointing out to them, say, look right behind you. Look behind you in your poster. Do this with your camera phone, I'll explain. Change your angle. Come down here. I'll even give them pretty approximate angles by talking about the dark areas of the moon compared to down here that they call the sea of tranquility and all it's all bullshit man they lied about every fucking thing so we can see the truth and the reality to it all and the moon is a very big place to start because the moon is so much more important than what we were told it is for everything, for everything that I'm going to be showing you, for, for us going forward, our children need to know this information and you're not going to ever learn it because even the one parent, you're going to be fighting over your kids because your wife or husband is a dumbed down zombie slave and you're going to have to, they're not, they're not going to want them to know reality. They're all part of the fucking scam. And then you're going to realize that it really is 7.8 billion and we all in on it, man. We all in on it. It ain't no one political party. It ain't no one fucking nothing. It's all of us. We are something. Anyways, try to stick to the story here. Okay, so what I'm going to be showing you um, just in this video real quick is a few things about the moon. So that's that's number one is that print them up, have them around. Reverse telescopes, standard telescopes. I'll explain in future videos why that is, why you want standard and, um, uh, and reverse telescope photographs, okay? A few ways that I do this. Once I get them printed up, they come over here coming hot off the printer, okay? Once they get printed up and they dry, because they're not dry, um, and I didn't crop it either. I should have cropped it. I'll crop them so that they fit into the paper. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. No big deal. Point being now is that put them into a self-adhesive sheets. Once they dry, I'll, I'll print up good ones, and then I put them in these sheets, right? If flip the sheet over and you get it so you don't have any wrinkles on it, it'll eventually wrinkle anyway. And the eventual wrinkling is another part of this that you can prevent that is put one on top of the other. So once you get the face on this plastic and you tear the sheet, flip it over onto another sheet so you have plastic on the front and the rear. The reason for the plastic on the front mostly is because of the reflection aspect of it. It's going to act as a very minor, um, uh, mag I always say magnifying glass and I get it wrong, magnifying glass. A very minor magnifying glass just from the clear plastic. It acts as that. So when you're coming in for your angles and distances of perspective, once this moon photo is inside that plastic, and I can show you on many of the other um, sheets of plastic that I have around with these moon uh, photos in them. That's why when I'm bringing you and showing you, I know exactly what I'm looking for. My camera can go right for certain images and I, I can you know start cropping them for you. I will do all that. But it's still important that you guys have these in your possession all the time and always be looking at them. We'll get into the clouds, we'll get into the trees, the rocks, the stones, and the human skin, and all the other places where you can digitally collect the EMNC, but the moon is a very important one. The moon is the false creator slash creator's electromagnetic nanocarbon regulator when issuing souls to the bio realm, as I explained in an earlier video that I will include in this series. And then uh, another reason uh, for the moon is it acts as a clock. It's the false creator slash creator's clock. And there's something to what's happening right now with the awakening that's happening right now. And the awakening's going really shitty for us, for the people that are not um, uh, willing to go along with it all. Even though there are still millions of people waking up all over this earth, 
it's just like nothing. It's like a drop in a bucket compared to the 7.8 billion zombie slaves who want to insist on their own enslavement and the enslavement of their children and their families as we go forward. So if we don't fix this, we're looking at, just to let you know, we're looking at another 10,000 years of fucking tyrannic shit, man. So we need to all wake the fuck up and go look at what it is I'm showing you. What I will eventually start showing you is I will start, and, and you'll once you have the moon in your possession all the time, and you're able to spin it around, and you're going to put light behind it, and you're going to learn the lights and shadows, and you're going to learn all the images, even the ones in the sea of tranquility, and ones that are even harder to see and easy to see, okay? One thing you got to learn is about the sea of tranquility, all the timelines coming out of it. I'm going to show you the um, what I call the lakes of tranquility, the ponds of tranquility, and the puddles of tranquilities. All these puddles, ponds, lakes, and, um, and sea, and the sea of tranquility. Now, the sea of tranquility, of course, I just stole from the lion motherfuckers, right? Because that's what they, that's what they call it. So I just used theirs and then continued on when I found the rest of the lakes, puddles, and ponds, and whatever. So I'll show you them. You can actually see them, and you can follow the lines around. And these lines crop certain images uh, based on these timelines you have matter of fact i don't i can't i can't claim to have figured out all the timelines but i got some pretty good guesses and how it goes so somebody like danny coming into all this and having other eyes on it i'm sure will it'll go a lot quicker but i got the gist of it um, I was originally all backwards on the timelines i thought the larger lines were going to account for uh, the longer periods of time uh, like the ones coming out of the Sea of Tranquility, for example. For all these lines that are coming out of the Sea of Tranquility, they go all through the moon, right? Some of them have cutoff points. They cut to the right, and then they go up again, and they do all kinds of shit. So when you start following these Sea of Tranquility timelines, I was assuming that those were going to be the ones that were going to be for the longer time frames. And it may turn out to be that, but it seems more now it's the opposite of that because those large timelines are being cut off by the smaller timelines. The, the cutoffs are going, um, you know, also out to the moon, but they cross over the large timelines. So in other words, if we want to get down to uh, seconds and minutes, I have to go all the way out here to the outside of the moon. You can digitally collect the imagery all the way from around here, which also, by the way, collecting the imagery, I call it digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon from the area we call the moon. And when you come out to these edges, and I'll do this for you guys, and you start collecting around here, you're going to see what's going to work out for Again, everything we were told, we were lied to. So we always think of seconds as being even zero one. There's no such thing as looking at fucking images. Man. Like, this is the wizard right here. See the eye, eye, nose, big fucking pointy schnoz. His mouth is right here. See him? I'll try to crop him for you. The lights got him just right. This is what I'm trying to. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. When the moon is there in front of you all the time, you'll just be doing shit and you'll see the images. And then you'll now have, now that I'm showing this to you, you'll have the confidence to claim these images at that particular angle, at this particular distance, with that particular amount of light sh shining on it from that particular angle and that particular distance. Because of course, if I bring my, I'm going to fuck it up, right? Because I'm changing my angles and distance of perspective and I'm going to lose my lights and shadows for that particular image going in and now every little move is going to make a difference okay so all the images that are out here the lines are going this way right out through it so when i got the big timelines coming out of the sea of tranquility and going around you have all the lakes ponds puddles all accounting for other times now this is the reality time that I'm talking about. None of us are going to know this reality time at all because all of our time has zeros in it. We as human beings have put zeros in our fucking math. Like unbelievable dumbed down zombie slaves and infinity for that matter. So I'll mention that. The images that make up the moon are not infinite. There's nothing out there that is infinite. As a matter of fact, when Danny comes into all this, 
he's going to lose calling it a solar system. He's not going to call it a solar system anymore. Because once you go and look, you're going to realize how bad that we've all been lied to about all the models, the heliocentric model, the geocentric model, and any that were before it. Uh, the um, It's a hologram. No, it's not. It's a matrix. No, it's not. It's none of the, uh, now it's an a, uh, avatar. It's an avatar. No, it's not. It's none of those things. It's none of the things that they would even let come off the lion ass human tongue. They were not going to ever, but I'll compare it to this. I heard Danny mention something about um, uh, God not using the human tongue to communicate. You're just going to know shit. You're just going to see it and then you're going to know it. That's the same thing I was trying to explain to you guys over the last seven years. That is that part is definitely true. Danny got that down pat, except it's not a God. It's a true creator. The true creator's builders build everything in here. The false creator slash creator is responsible for a good part of this system. But you can see when the false creator slash creator comes into the picture, math starts and math does not start. There's no zeros in the true creator's work, nor the false creator slash creator's work. These are very important things because if we're going to start using our human lion ass math to put this clock together, to know the, the real clock, and we ain't going to get anywhere. We're going to still keep spinning around round for the next 10,000 fucking years. Okay. So printing up the moon on plastic in plastic, you print them up, right? That's my first little bit of advice for you. And I'm going to try to get through this video fairly quickly. <sighs> Another thing that's fun to do, and I would recommend it. You buy these uh, fabric transfer sheets, right? They're clear plastic. You print them up on the printer and then you put them into the clear sheet and you have a clear moon. So all the images, and I have some laying around. Matter of fact, I used one for the moon map model. I'll bring you in on this model later. I think Danny will really appreciate this. Um, if Danny even comes into all this, we'll see what happens. But it's right in there. Um, but I, sometimes I get into it. I just don't have time right now, nor the energy. All right, so now I got you printing up moons. You're putting them in plastic. The second benefit to having them in plastic and having them uh, clear is great, but you don't have to. White is fine, too, because you're going to be sending light from behind and in front to change your lights and shadows. And I'm going to show you all kinds of shit, so it don't really matter. You don't have to do the uh, fabric transfer sheets, but it is something fun to do, and it's a little different. And you and it also confirms to you, you just got to make sure you don't fuck it up. Matter of fact, if anybody out there listening wants to do that fabric, I'll do some more videos on it, but I, I did videos on it in the past. There's just some little tricks to it. You're going to smudge it if you put the iron on for too long. You're going to smudge it. So, of course, the imagery is not going to be the true creator's imagery. It will be a smudged, human-influenced form of the true creator's energy uh, imagery. So that's why... You know, I'm going, I'm sending you to, to do a lot of different photos and videos of the moon so that you can compare one to the other to make sure you're not seeing shit. Just like when your computer fucks up. I got one. I think it's the, I think it might be this one. Um, I got a couple of them actually that they came out a little bit egg shaped or have human influence in them. So I recognize the difference in the images, but nobody else coming along will because I have every angle. Well, I, I'm being cocky, but I have I have every angle of each image that I know of in the moon and then millions of others that I don't even want to be bothered with at the moment. So I, I know how much capacity I have to hold it in memory. And therefore, I don't go for a lot of the smaller stuff. I don't go for things that are... Um, uh, hard angles to find where I got to keep fucking banging my camera down on the desk in order to get them better for you and shit like that. I just learned over the time, you know, like that one's one of my, always one of my favorites. That's one, the one I'm, I was bringing you guys in on last week in the video. And he's got, I don't know, I never counted, but there is an actual amount of how many images are within image, within image, within image to get that prick really good for you. And and change him up in so many different ways. In other words, color. Am I sending light from front to rear? Am I sending light from rear to front? Changing my angles, distance, lights and shadows, blah, 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 right? And then when you're doing it on a computer screen or a computer monitor, the light's coming out at you, where if you're doing a photograph that's on the desk, the light's 
heading towards the photograph of the moon okay so these are all really important things to do because what it's going to do is while we're looking at clouds, while we're looking at rocks and stones and other shit like that, you guys will have these moon photographs laying around and you will start seeing them because I'm not going to be talking in, when I'm doing these moon videos. I'm, I just get too aggravated about it maybe if someone comes along that really has interest and really starts seeing it and really gets on board with it okay fine and if dean and danny end up being those guys i hope the fuck so because we're way out of time we're way out of time but to try to keep fighting the system to get the messages out there it's impossible you're fighting everyone you're fighting all the mainstream media people that i call out fighting all of the uh fucking gangsters of the government and every agency I mean, it's ridiculous you know so someone like myself isn't going to get very far okay so i explained that part um next is this let's see what am i gonna do yeah something like that and i need a drink and i need a smoke so give me a second Okay, cheap $10 tag sail telescope, cheap $30 camera that's at its wits end. I have to reboot it and shit every time, so I, I don't really use this camera that often. But because I already broke up all the plastic around it, gluing this eyepiece on over the years, whatever, two years or whatever, I've had this camera. So what I'm doing now is I'm glue gunning this eyepiece, and I should turn the light on so you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, I, I've done this so many times that I, it becomes second nature. I know not to overheat the camera when gluing it down. I know not to go up too high with the glue up the eyepiece because if I do, then um, uh, when I go to put the eyepiece onto the telescope, of course, it's not going to go down all the way and it fucks up the viewing and all that kind of shit, right? So there's all these little stupid shit that'll happen. But talk about cheap shit, right? So I'm talking about a total of value today, $10 worth of shit of what it's worth today, right? So it doesn't take anything to go do these videos and photos of the moon, and it's so important. So why would something that's so important, why would we all be overlooking it? Why would millions of us, uh, 7.8 billion of us, not be looking at the moon the way that I'm gonna about to show it to you now. You have to ask yourself that as we're going along because there's no fucking reason. There really is no reason. It's so damn easy to just go look for yourself. In other words, what I'm accusing you all of is that because you already know. You already know the truth and the reality probably better than me. But the problem is, is you've been totally fucking enslaved and you will not come out of your enslavement you insist on your own enslavement think about that what i'm saying seriously really anybody coming to the channel think about what i'm saying because if you're going to refuse to go and look at the moon and see it for what it is you know you can get your hands on a telescope you all got money coming out your ass according you got I mean, you can buy a hundred thousand dollar fucking car but you can't go buy a cheap telescope for a couple hundred bucks bullshit uh, camera you don't need to uh, and I've had people come to me over the years I've done series with and they play games when it comes to this moon photographing and moon video shit there's no reason for it the only thing you're showing me maybe not anybody else coming along because they'll be in denial as well but to me all you're doing is proving that you're just an agent of the state whether you know it or not because there's no reason why you can't do this so making up excuses like um Oh, I got to get some better equipment. I got to have good shit to go and look at it. And I got to order this and I got to order that. And it's coming on Amazon. No, nah, man, you don't need shit. Fucking glue gun. Everybody's got one. Um, a cheap telescope. You can get one at Walmart. For, you can buy the cheapest one at Walmart and take 75 bucks. You know, there's it, it, nothing to this. Okay, so we're right now in, in the process of a waxing moon. So during this waxing moon, I'm going to go out and start doing videos and photos of that moon that's coming through right now. I will shoot the shit a little bit here and there, but it's nighttime usually and the neighbors are all freaked out over what I'm showing people and stuff like that. Inside, you know, it's not like they're yelling out their window at me or anything, but inside you can just see how suspicious they all are of what, what the hell I'm up to all the time. All right, so, um, so I'm going to be glue gunning that on. 
and I'll have that camera ready for the next uh, 15, 20 days, okay? And then um, telescope's ready, that's ready. I'm now printing up, and I will properly print these up. I'm gonna be wrapping them in, um, in the plastic, and I'm, I don't know if I'll do any plastic ones, because I think I only have one or two of those left, and um, I only like to use them for certain things, making my models and stuff. But anybody else out there, I would highly recommend it. And again, you're going to a lot of different moon photos <coughs> because you want to be able to compare them. You want to be able to compare them uh, when doing all of that, okay? What else did I want to talk about? I, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I don't have pause on this camera. So what I'm going to do is... Um, just double checking around to make sure I'm not forgetting nothing. It's, it's just really important to, for you guys to have all these moons. How many, I don't know, as many places you have one in the bathroom fucking spinning around on a nail in there. Seriously. Have it right in front of the shitter on the wall spinning around. Yes, they're going to call you crazy and everything like that. Don't worry about it. Believe me, they're going to see it too. Anyone else sitting on that shitter, they're going to fucking see it. And, you, and you're going to learn to put them on angles. I put them on wires like this so that I have control so I can angle it at different angles so when your family goes in to use the shitter and it, it, you start ch changing the angles and distances of perspective for them they're gonna see it because the light in the bathroom is gonna bounce so yeah the lights in the same place every day but as long as you have control of being able to move that that's why i put a, a wire there's a, a, a copper wire and i put uh nails and screws and and whatever and then put the wire around it so that i have complete control of where that moon is facing or not facing and and how much light it's getting on it and where the light is picking is it picking up light from the outside window if so that's not as good as a light that's just coming from one side because it's all about lights and shadows danny you're going to understand these lights and shadows when i start showing it to you and and explaining this to you you're going to get it right away. I've already heard you talk about it, but you're just talking about it in, uh, in, a, in another way. Um, I, I will mention to Danny, if you do come along to these videos, which I hope you do, um, you can thank Dean for hooking us up because that, that was really good. Um, and I would also say that you're going to catch this, like I've been telling Dean, really quickly, Danny. Um, you're going to see it right away and you're going to realize that a lot of the things that you're talking about, although truth to them, are not the ultimate truth. They're not the all knowledge. It's not knowing, right? And I have, I still have a lot of things that I don't know yet myself. There's a lot of them. Like I was just explaining about the timelines. Um, I know that they're timelines, but I don't have the complete gist of how they all work um, and which ones mean what and what ones, you know, what means what time. Now, in the true creator system, it's a no brainer because the true creator's time is all one. In the true creator system, time is all, everything is all one. Um, that's, there's no separation anywhere from the veil to the ground that show in the true creator's work that shows me anything other than feline canine rodent ape human and beast faces only although when we get to the moon i'm going to show you several body images and then when i get into showing you those body images you're gonna say what the fuck's he talking about well when you start looking at zillions upon zillions of images per day everywhere you are and it's going to be no big deal anymore then you're going to know why i'm saying feline canine rodent ape human and beast faces only even though I'm going to show you a few body images in the moon and possibly even in the clouds later and that kind of shit, all right? And I'll explain it to you even more in detail of why that is and where the false creator slash creator got his idea when doing his division because that's what it all, that's the math that the false creator slash creator started with, with division. Divided himself from the veil, divided himself from the true creator's work, divided the uh, up from down, divided left from right, divided back from forward, divided in from out, divided uh, male from female, divided positive from negative. He's the great divider, is the false creator slash creator. That's the creator of the bio realm. The true creator is responsible for everything, including the false creator slash creator's build. 
everything that the false creed and just everything, just everything. And it's all one. And you can see that. You'll see that when you notice that there is no break in the true creator's work. Any any breaks that you think you see are not going to be there. I'm going to take that illusion away from you now. You're all going to lose that illusion that there's a break between the clouds and my hand. You're going to you're going to now understand that that monitor or even things of human influence which i will not do matter of fact i'm not even going to do it now because i don't like doing that nothing with human influence fucking humans are lying motherfuckers all fucking day you're gonna see that from that stone to my hand all the way to where you're sitting i don't know where the hell you're sitting you could be in arkansas you could be in india right now watching this video and i'm telling you that that fucking connection between that stone right there and there in my hand going through this fucking now nah, it's not going to go through the camera it's all around us and that connection is going all the way to you I, the camera's human influence so the camera's not sending the um uh the connection anything more than a uh human digital square pixel garbage shit the true creator's energy that rock this hand to you, out my, I'm pointing out my window, out to you, okay? You know, put your hand up in the air and look at your hand and know that that rock has just has just touched you, right? Because I'm, I'm explaining it because I'm telling you about it. Now you're going to have an appreciation and you'll understand what I'm saying when I say that's how you have evidence that because you're going to see it because I can take you in on that rock and show you feline, canine, rodent, an ape, human, and beast. I can go like this with my hand, put some light behind it and show you feline, canine, rodent, an ape, human, and beast faces only. And then I can get you to stick your hand in front of your camera, wherever you are, post it. And I will digitally collect the EMNC from your hand. And then you'll start understanding what it is I'm showing you. So to have the moon's photograph, moon photographs all over the place in, in both uh, angles of and distance of perspective of standard telescope, reverse telescope, uh, is going to be a big help. And it's going to help everybody to see it for themselves. You guys will start seeing it for yourselves. And then when you're able to start matching the images that you see on one and onto another, it'll... It'll force you because you're you're gonna fight it. I guarantee you, you're gonna fight it. it we are the 7.8 billion zombies. I'm sorry to keep saying that, but it's important that you all realize that because that is what has happened. That's why when you're when someone's sitting on a shit or looking at this moon photograph, they're gonna see it, but they're gonna refuse to admit it. They're gonna say no fucking way. I was told that I live on a spinning wet pair rocket ball. And I'm flying through the vast of outer space at 10,000 miles an hour. And the moon is going around us at 2,500 miles an hour. And we're spinning at 1,197 miles an hour. And blah, 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 bullshit. It's all been a fucking lie. So in order to get that lie out of your mind, you need to go see the reality. And I know my angle's back up so the screen moon, you're not getting shit on the screen moon. But these other ones you can see, you can see. And again, goes to prove my point when I'm trying to explain to you about angles and distances of perspective. And it's the same thing with looking at that moon through this camera right now, or even that one, is the same thing I'm telling you about looking it up in the sky. I can see all the images. I can from here, if I could reach that moon on the board right there and start spinning it, I could bring you in on all the images and show them all to you. Even the really small ones, because I already know where they are, so I can get in there on them. Of course, from the ground without a telescope, it's going to be all the large ones, the large images that I'm going to be pointing out to you. I'm being a little sarcastic here, but um, I don't know what the chances are of everybody waking the fuck up. I, I don't know, man. Um, I'm just going to ask that anybody come into the series uh, that we're, as we're going through um, to do that with the moon photographs. Uh, start with those. It doesn't cost anything. I'll start putting my telescope up in the sky and, uh, and we'll get some moon videos. As a matter of fact, I'd like to go see. Uh, so they started trailing this morning. It didn't pick up until about an hour an hour ago so let's see what that's doing now
if there's anything, I'll put the remainder of the camera on here. Let's see which way these are going. Feetline Canine Road and Ape Human and Beast. Those last ten, <coughs> the last 10 to 20 videos I just did, <coughs> that I just posted, some are on Michael Oziak, some are on Miguel, everyone, some are on Right to Reality. Some of them are um, copied from channel to channel. Those are awesome videos, man. There's no way any of you are going and watching them videos and not seeing what it is I'm showing you. There's just no fucking way. <coughs> You're in denial. <coughs> Okay, no filter, no filter on the camera. But if I stay here, the dog's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna come back out in a few minutes and go get something to drink. I gotta get some water or something. I don't feel like shit. Um, there's trails all over the place, but I'm just looking for certain, certain areas. I always playing with the lights and sh shadows. <coughs> As I'm doing this, I'm always doing that, and, and I'm not really that conscious of it. It's not something I talk about. I just automatically do. So when you're looking at the camera and you're just watching this as an entertainment video, you're not going to realize that. You just see all of a sudden the light picks up, and people think that it's, um, I, I don't know. I don't know what anybody's thinking there. in there you can see it you can see it you're just in denial of it i mean look at a huge face right there right i can crop them for you i mean there's many faces in there don't get me wrong there's that other ones down there too i mean at least hundreds um in that little area there's hundreds of images that your eyes can all, capture them all. And the built and then another great thing about the clouds too, just like the water, when you're doing the river, when I'm collecting from the river or whatever, is that um you're watching the builders work. You get to watch the builders work and you have a bigger appreciation for it. When you're watching the builders work to build a, a, a human or a cat or a dog, it's gonna be very boring for us because they don't build according to um, the way our eyes would like to work, I guess you could say. In other words, we want instant gratification. And I can give that to you in the clouds and the water because there are billions of images all being built very quickly running through the camera. But if I put my hand in front of the screen and just collect from my hand, look at this shit. I can see it. I can see because I got light from the Son, I can digitally collect the EMNC from my hand. It's fucking awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm going to center right on that image's nose right there. Um, of course, my hand has human influence in it, but you don't realize it, but the clouds do too. The clouds are all human influence to everything. Pretty much does, but... um. Wait till you see how much. When when you get to the question and you want to ask yourself, why is it only feline, canine, rodent, human, and beast? Wait till you see the fucking answer for that. Wait till you see the answer for that one. Oh, boy. That's going to be a lot for everyone to handle. I'm going to leave that there. I'll be back. no light over here but i might be able to get it if i don't put a filter on or if i put a yellow filter on and it'll be better because i can pull the camera out to get it let's see
Maybe the green filter might work here. I have an HD sunglasses that I cut up and made a filter out of. And that's the one that you guys uh, seem to like the most. Um, and the yellow one, which is an alcohol bottle. Uh, I don't remember what it was. But those seem to be the color colors that everyone is most attracted to. But they're not seeing the imagery still. Because everybody that's messaging me, you know, my subscribers are picking up. But the messages I'm getting are telling me they're not really seeing what I'm showing them. So unless they come to a video that I'm starting to explain things, they're not going to really get it. And then to make it even worse than that, as soon as I explain things, they're going to run. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're going to fucking run because they don't want to admit it. They don't, they're part of the scam. And then to tell them that they're part of the scam, they're in total denial of that, you know? What do you mean I'm part of the scam? All right, folks, no, no, no. Yeah, it's all of us. It's all of us. You'll see. You'll see if you go look. Yeah, I'm going to go get the other filter. Let's see what we Oh, come on, goggles. Let's see. Let's see. See who you are. <laughs> I thought you could see her face. Fucking cat was trying to must have get knocked it out of his nest. Um okay, be calm, be calm, girl. I gotta put this filter on. This is an HD filter. It's just a pair of sunglasses that I, yeah, and I see how it brings things up. Because it's already getting dark out. It's about 8 o'clock at night. But this is even better over here. I just don't have to watch out for this bird. Don't worry, I'm protecting you. Don't worry.
I'm gonna have to jump down. <clears throat> I think it's going to be too dark out though. I might be better off not putting no filter on. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know what, too, I'm glad I just noticed is that um, the moon is not waxing, it's weaning. Looks like it's got only one day left on the weaning cycle. <laughs> you see what I mean? Angles and distances are perspective. Lights and shadows, lights and shadows. I hope they got her. Did your mother get you or what? I gotta go check her again. Gotta get her.
poor bird. She's still in the basket, screaming for her mother. And I gotta get that cat. I feel like she's gonna get her.
Uh, too dark now. Alright. I'll be back.